Hello and welcome, I'm Sue Parker and today I'm answering the question about how do you embed or how do you get your podcast episode to appear inside your blog post? So this is the kind of thing that Amy Porterfield does, that Jenna Kutcher does. You know when you load up their blog page and you can see right across the top a playable link of their podcast. So you can literally plug your earpods in and just listen to it instead of reading through the blog post. Or it kind of adds value, doesn't it? Because it's that audio version where you get the explanation and all the extra information that you don't necessarily get. It's also the kind of thing that if you're on the move, you can load up the blog post and just hit play and listen to it instead of reading all that text. Because it's another way of connecting with your audience. It's another way of helping them on their level when they're on the move or whatever they're doing. So here's my blog post here. I'm using WordPress and I'm using WordPress because I believe it's one of the best blogging platforms in the market. So I'm gonna show you here how to use standard WordPress engine, the blocks functionality in order to embed your podcast episode. I'm also gonna be using Buzzsprout, but the chances are with many other podcasting hosting services, you will get the same functionality there in exactly the same way. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a look over on my blog post. You can see I've already embedded a video at the top of this particular one and I've got my blog post text and I want to just move it down a section because I want to make some room for the block that's going to contain my podcast so somebody can come to the page and hit play at the top instead of having to scroll and find it. So I'm hitting on the plus button to find a new block and in this case I'm looking for some HTML code because I'm going to enter some custom HTML that links to a player for my podcast. So custom HTML, and we've got, we're ready there with my block, but now what do I enter? Don't worry, you haven't got to think about what the custom HTML is. You go over to your podcast hosting platform, and most of them, as I say, have that. Some of them do it slightly differently, they call it something else, they put it somewhere different, but for the most part, when you find your episode, and you can do this the same with the actual whole podcast itself, but let's say we want one episode per blog post that's relevant to that blog post. So this is my seven steps to start a business in 2022 that I released. And if you scroll down, you've got options like email the link of this episode, which you can do, and it will link to my Buzzsprout episode, direct link to MP3, or embed this one episode. And that's what we're doing here. We're embedding it inside our web page, so somebody can literally press play on that blog post. So if I click on there, I want to copy the embed code, like so. I want to head back over to my blog post, the HTML section, and I want to paste that in there. Oh, it looks ugly, doesn't it? Don't worry, it's not going to look like this when we hit publish and play. And the good news is there's no error messages here showing up. It's perfectly happy with the fact that it's taking this snippet, this I, this little, little field, and it's taking it, and it's taking it from Buzzsprout, and it's going to pop it here in my blog post. So let's update my blog post and check and test that it's working. Preview a new tab and scroll down. There's my video and there we have my blog post, my podcast post and you can hit play. Hi there. Welcome. There we go. You can see that it's working and people can skip through and, and accelerate and they can do that, all of that inside your website. They don't need to navigate somewhere else and go offline. You don't need to lose them to something else. You literally want them to be able to do all of this inside your blog post. This is just another way of enhancing the product, the service, the content, the value, and the connection that you have with your audience. So hopefully you found that little hot tip useful and you are gonna start embedding your podcast episodes straight into your blog and driving traffic there. And hopefully you have found that really useful. If there's anything else like this that I can help you with, drop it in the comments or head over to the contact us form and you can just let me know, what do you think? Take care and, you know, no matter how technical it is, no matter how scary it feels, it's new to everyone the first time they do it. And then it just becomes second nature. This will become so habitual and eventually you'll hand this off to somebody else. Your virtual assistant will set this up for you. Your content scheduler will set this up for you. But right now, this is about getting you out there and getting you out there with your best foot forward, showing up with your A game and proving to everybody else that you have credibility, that you have value to add here and you can do amazing things with your life. Let's get started today. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.